hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be something different something that i've never done in my channel i have been sewing a lot like a lot so i started sewing about two three months ago so first of all i am not a fashion designer i am not a seamstress and i am not a dressmaker i just love to diy so i've been making lots of clothes for myself clothes for my baby girl and also some for nathan um yeah just making cute outfits african print outfits so if you follow me on instagram you've already seen some of these clothes that i'm talking about some of the designs that i'm talking about i've been posting a lot of uh, mommy and me outfits like family matching outfits and I'm also going to be making sewing videos. So I just wanted to do sort of like an introduction to this new uh, category in my channel. And I'm actually really enjoying it. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Like I knew how to sew before. Like I had a sewing machine for years. But it was an old singer like 99K hand cracked sewing machine. So I used to use it to like um, make frontals. Because I buy like uh yards of lace so i used to use that machine to make like frontal pieces closure pieces and also like attaching the clo the closures and the frontals to the wig caps when i make wigs um yeah so that's all i've been using that sewing machine for and i've also been using it just to mending things there and there in the house like some holes and clothes and stuff and recently i started making like full garments from scratch and i am really really enjoying it so i'm just going to go ahead and share some of these clothes with you guys if you haven't seen them on my instagram and i'll also explain a little bit on how i made the comment and the patterns and all the things and i end up getting a new machine which is a basic domestic machine i wanted something with like a six six stitch so that i can finish my garments especially sewing for a baby you want like a seizure or an overlock or something with a zigzag and my singer only had like a straight stitch i didn't have like all this zipper foot and all these things it was actually a hundred year old singer machine that belonged to nathan's nonna and yeah I actually really really love that sewing machine but I had to get something that was electric and can do like lots of different things like buttonhole stitches, zigzags. I got a brother JV1400 which I love and it's pink. I'm really really loving the sewing machine. It has like 14 stitches like you can do all the basic things that you want and yeah it's electric i can make like a full garment in a day without any further ado i'm going to show you guys the garments that i've made in like the past three two three months yeah so first items that i made was for heritage day uh which i made for all of us for the whole family for me nathan and rain so for nathan i made him this shirt I used um, the Ndebele fabric, so for Nathan I made him like this shirt which fitted him like really really well and it was my first shirt that I made and I just took one of his shirt that fits him well and sort of like trace it on a pattern paper and yeah I made this shirt for him and then for Rain I made this cute little dress with the same material and it has like buttons at the back so with this dress i actually found a pattern online a pdf pattern online which i printed and this was so cute and i also made like a bow and a, it was attached on like an elastic to make it look like a headband so this was like so cute and I made this bowl from scratch actually. So everything that I have made is either I learned from YouTube or Pinterest or I downloaded patterns online. So yeah, for rain it was this too cute. And then for myself, I made like this long mixy dress 
which has like a waistband and a zipper so the zipper is really not perfect because like i said i was using like a hand crack machine uh, i was using a singer machine which didn't have like a zipper footer and i didn't really know how to use like an invisible zipper properly so it's still wearable it's long and really really nice i love it i actually didn't even know about liners but I just doubled the fabric in and out and also on green stress I lined it with the same fabric which is really really cute and I gathered it I think I used about three meters only for this dress it's like super heavy but I really really love it and I still wear it I actually wore it on one of my previous videos I think it was when I was making a ponytail using Kelly hair the second outfit that I made was this a uh, full circle dress for myself um, in this cute material which is like pink and purple and it also has a zipper at the back and I really really love it and I also made a full circle dress for rain so the top I use the same pattern as the one on the uh, Nevada fabric but down here I just made like a full circle skirt which is 360 so it's so cute and I also have like the same buttons at the back and it's all <laughs> and this one is actually lined with a proper lining so I use like a black lining and also on my dress it's like lined on top but the skirts it's not lined and I actually made a headband to match with this dress so I will insert a picture here so you guys can see. I also made a headband. I don't know what the headband is. Maybe it's probably in the wash because she was wearing it like a few days ago. But it was a really, really cute turban headband. But I have some other headbands that look exactly like that one. And I'll show you guys. Next outfit that I made was this three piece. I only made it for rain because this was like a butterfly pink baby fabric. So I made like this pants, which were my first pants to make. I made like this cute pants with elastic on the waist and also down here on the ankles, which fits like really, really well. And it's like so cute. It's like this pink fabric with butterflies. And I also made like a matching top. And again, for the top, I use the same pattern as the two dresses. But I made it shorter so that it's like a top and I use the same buttons at the back which are like these clear buttons. And at this point I already got like my new sewing machine so I could make like uh, proper button holes. So yeah. And this one is also like lined with a white lining. So sweet. I love this. So cute. And I made this like adjustable headband which you can um, actually like untie and tie. So she's probably gonna wear this one for like really really long time. I think it will actually fit me because it has like elastic and you can tie it. So, <laughs> but I made it for her. I measured her head and yeah, so cute, so so cute. I actually learned this from YouTube as well. And the pants, I learned how to make them on YouTube. She was actually like an Indian lady. I didn't even understand what she was saying, but could follow what she was doing so yeah I learned how to make these pens from YouTube and yeah so this was the three piece that she wore and she still wears it it's like really really cute and the next items that I made was these shorts for myself which I really really love these were my first shorts that I made for myself and they have pockets I really really love these shorts like they're like my favorite favorite item that I've ever made for myself. I love the pockets. I love the fabric. It's like this Kente Ghana inspired fabric. I really really love this shorts. And they also have like a zip on the side which I use like an invisible zipper and it looks really really good. So this was my first shorts and for the pattern and the pattern that I used for these shorts was like an online pattern that I found and printed 
was a PDF pattern that I found online. So yeah. And then for rain, I made her like this romper, which is really, really cute. And yeah, I used the same fabric. And like, I just learned this from like a YouTube video that I was watching. And again, it was from an Indian lady, which I didn't really understand what she was saying, but I could follow the tutorial. And I made like these stripes. Like up here, I actually tied this and sew them. So that, because um, she kept on like pulling and untying the little bows. So I like sew them and then tie them and then just sew them again with um, like a hand needle and just add the romper. They fit it. I have like an elastic here. So really, really cute. To go with the romper, I made like this beautiful turban headband. So for that purple dress, I actually had the same bow as this one i use the same pattern no i use the same um video i was actually watching from a tutorial on youtube on how to make them and yeah i made this cute it has elastic it has like a little tub and tie up here so cute and the next items that i made was this really really gorgeous a blazer dress and I used my Venda, my culture, my Mingwenda fabric and this is like a yellow Mingwenda fabric which I really really love and yeah this is the blazer dress that I made and uh, with this blazer dress I actually just followed like a tutorial on someone who was making a blazer here on YouTube but I decided to make like a sleeveless blazer dress and I just use like a homemade um, binding at, to finish the sleeves and it's like really really beautiful it has like four buttons here it has a round collar which I really really love so this is like my favorite favorite item this probably took me about a week to actually perfect it and I love 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 it it's like my favorite favorite item and then for rain I made her this gorgeous gorgeous dangere dress in the same fabric which is really really cute like I love 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 this and the pattern for this I actually found someone here on YouTube she makes um, like baby clothes and also adults like women clothes and stuff and she also has like free patterns so you just have to look like you just have to look and then you'll find what you're looking for and so she also has like uh, free patterns that you can print like free pdf which she actually makes herself like handmade uh, patterns which it's like easy to follow even though it's not in english it's like in spanish but it's like so much easy to follow if you know what you're doing. So I made like this cute little dress. It's like a dangare dress. I use like buckles and this is the bag. It has like elastic here. The top is lined. And yeah, so this is like the cutest. Next is this um, wrap dress, which is my first wrap dress. And it actually came out looking really, really good. Like I wore this dress on one of my previous videos actually on my previous video I was wearing this dress and um, it's really really gorgeous I use like a linen fabric it's one of those snow look linens I really really love it it has darts at the back like it shapes me like really really well so this strap like goes in a hole through a hole this side and I actually made like a hole here and it comes out this way and then this one comes here so you can actually tie it at the back or what I love to the way I love to wear it is to bring back the strips and just tie them here in the front so it's like really really gorgeous and the fabric is amazing it's like this pinkish purple linen fabric really really love so this is the dress that I made and I didn't line it I just put like facing around um, the hole in 
side dress and then for the sleeve I actually made uh, another like homemade binding with the same fabric so it actually fits me like really really well and um, to make this dress I didn't have a pattern I actually used um, the same pattern that I used so I actually drafted the same pattern the same way I made the blazer dress this is how I made this um, a wrap dress I just instead of having it going like straight down I actually kind of like tilted it so that it can show a little bit of my cleavage so this is what I made and I really really love it so unfortunately I didn't make anything for rain with this fabric I didn't have enough fabric I only had um, I think a meter for this fabric it was a lot I thought one meter was gonna be enough it was really really cheap it wasn't that expensive it was like 37 rand a meter which was like really really good so I'll probably go back and buy some of this linen maybe in different colors and make other outfits I'm definitely gonna remake some of these items like the blazer dress I know my sister is sending me uh, fabric which should arrive today or tomorrow uh, the same fabric she want the same fabric she want the same dress so I'll definitely have a tutorial on that not a tutorial but a video on that because these are not going to be tutorials are probably gonna be like so with me because I'm still learning guys like I don't want to tell you things that don't exist so yeah this is the uh, rep dress I made for myself and then the next outfit which is the last outfits that I made I made another pair of shorts using the same pattern as the other shorts so I made this ones and for these three items that I'm showing you now I actually made a video so I'm gonna have a video after this video showing you guys how I made these three items probably gonna separate it because it's too long <laughs> I'm still trying to get the hang of like filming and uh, sewing at the same time so these are the shots I made I use the same pattern uh, the only difference is um, the fabric I use like a shui shui fabric which I really really love I love the smell I love the quality it's like stiff it's like denim like so perfect like it looks really really good and um, the zipper I went with just a normal zipper I was just challenging myself I actually had like a little bit of difficulty <laughs> applying the zipper but it actually turned out looking great and yeah they kind of look the same they have pockets here in the front and a zipper so, yeah these are the shorts to go with the shorts I made like a sleeveless blazer I'm using the same pattern as the blazer dress it's just that I didn't make it to like wrap it it doesn't close so it doesn't have buttons it doesn't have any sort of um, closure but it's like the same shape as that as the blazer dress the, the shape the same colors the same sleeves oh no the sleeves are kind of different I didn't um, sort of like tuck it tuck in the binding that I made I kind of like left it out I thought this looked really really cool so yeah this is the blazer um, sleeveless blazer thing that I made to go with the shorts and I wore it with like a black bodysuit and it looked really really good so yeah this was um, the second item I made last week to go with the shorts and then for rain I used the same dungaree pattern again but this time I changed the buckles into like a plastic buckles and the straps are like different and I lined it with like a black lining and yeah same elastic at the back and for some reason the length was a little bit shorter compared to the other one I think I like folded this one when I was hemming it I think I folded this one too much when I was hemming it but it fits her perfectly it looked amazing on her she was rocking it we were wearing the same clothes with like our white converse and really we looked really really cool we got like lots and lots of compliments when we were taking our pictures on the streets 
so yeah this was the last item i made for rain but those are all the things that i've made my first like sewing project so i just want to add some other different contents in my channel instead of just focusing only on hair because sometimes i braid my hair for like a month which means i'm not gonna make any videos so i just want to add some other things and i'm really really loving sewing like things that you can learn on youtube pinterest it's amazing and all these patterns like putting together like a full garment from scratch is like really really amazing and the fabric shop is like so much fun it's way better than going to the hair store <laughs> you see like crazy things that you've never seen before so i am really really enjoying sewing so i'm gonna have lots and lots of videos coming up on sewing and also hair i'm still doing hair videos i'm not stopping makeup uh, i don't really like buying lots of makeup anymore i just have like my basic makeup so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to enable that notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me like i said i'm gonna have plenty of sewing videos coming up plenty of hair videos coming up and yeah so go ahead and press that subscribe button press that notification button and i will see you guys on the next one bye